Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to run a disk defrag on your Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So disk defragmentation specifically or more particularly on hard disk drives and not really on SSDs where you can optimize but you can't defrag or you shouldn't defrag. Um, basically fragmentation just requires more effort on your system and more resources to actually locate files that you're searching for, whereas defragmenting organizes it in a way that it makes it your computer more responsive and quick when conducting searches or doing basic tasks on your computer. So that's why it's a good idea to defrag every once in a while if you don't have it automatically set to do so. And maybe you just want to do it anyway and just initiate it if your computer already automatically does it, but you just want to do it on your own. Well, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to run a disk defragmentation. So all you have to do is open up the search magnifying glass down here and type in disk defrag. Best result should come back with defragment and optimize drives. Go ahead and open that up. Select where it says optimize. So whatever drive you want to select here, select optimize. And I don't believe Windows will not even let you defrag SSD or solid state drives, but I believe that they do let you optimize it though, as a lot of other applications will too. You just got to be careful of third-party applications because they might try and defrag drives that should not be defragmented. But generally, if Windows is presenting you the option to defragment something, it's probably safe in all honesty, because Microsoft knows what they are looking at when they are installing on your computer. Whereas third-party applications might be a little bit more tricky when it comes to that. Okay, so once it's done, it should say 0% fragmented, and you're good to go. So, pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.